All right, how's it going? So the new Cosmic Tower meta is shaping up to be one that heavily favors Devin or Deathbite alongside some other factors to make them viable main carries. Probably better than Amaterasu in some situations, as they can also deal with the boss on Wave 99 very well. Of course, Amaterasu setups are still good, but surprisingly, right, Devin, Deathbite are now incredibly strong. So the factors that make them this powerful as main carries includes a inclusion of a speed buff in the form of a unit so this can be horus or this can be speedy it also includes the usage of a godspeed charm which will probably get patched i won't be surprised if it will but for now a godspeed charm in addition to that you also require this to be played of course on the cosmic tower so that you can get that damage advantage so you can actually one shot the enemies and then finally you also do need some sort of way to obtain the king in yellow and insert that unit into your setup so that you can actually make Devin a cosmic unit to take advantage of the cosmic damage advantage. When you have all of these factors, as you're seeing here, it turns Devin's ability basically into his basic attack, and that basic attack is a one-shotting machine. Because it does percentage health, it's being doubled by the cosmic advantage. Every single ability usage, which is basically a basic attack, will do 180% of the enemy's HP. Now what this means is that not only can it deal with regular units very well, it can also deal with the boss very well, right? Sometimes Amaterasu setups struggle dealing with the boss, it's absurd amount of HP, and three stages, well, Devin doesn't. Devin just does percent damage, has that percent damage doubled so that it can result in one shots, and, you know, this setup is going to be very, very strong. I've seen setups where literally unit slots are basically not being used, right? I've seen Devin setups where you just have, like, a flamey or like a not not even flamey like a slimy and a Clyde in there honestly just there so you can avoid I, I don't even know what you're avoiding they're, they're just there like you don't even need to play the full setup sometimes to uh <laughs> to have the Devon setup work right you can just play empty units and uh they're they're just chilling there so yeah Devon meta is very good right now of course death bite is probably better but uh in the favor celebration i don't know how to say it uh, in honor of Devonism, uh, we'll be showcasing Devon as the carry, but, you know, as I said, Deathbite is also a very solid carry. As you're seeing here, Deathbite is able to deal with the enemies, as well as Kevin... Devon is. <laughs> Not Kevin. Kevin's garbage here, but as well as Devon is, and then, you know, it would be stronger if you had this... These two units swapped. My Deathbite still has the Godspeed charm. However, um, Devon is the one with the Horus buff here. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video, how the meta in the Cosmic Tower is shaping up to be. We're seeing two distinct setups being prioritized here, which is one, Amaterasu, two, Devin or Deathbite. Both center around the king in yellow, but both are very strong. And what I actually did on stream earlier today to get my first complete of the level is I used a combination setup of both Devin and Amaterasu. Devin cuts down the boss and that ridiculous amount of HP. Amaterasu is a little bit better at dealing with hordes sometimes as Devin is only able to focus one unit at a time, despite the attacks being pretty fast, sometimes Devin is overwhelmed. Uh, I probably could have just used Deathbite though, but long live Devin, like and subscribe.